today i'm going to be talking about just eat less before you kick and scream i'm going to explain exactly what i mean by just eat less and why it is important and most importantly i'm going to share with you some tips on how you might eat less It's a beautiful day in Houston. It's raining outside, but I'm so excited because it's December. December is my favorite month of the year. So happy new month, everybody. Happy new month and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time coming across my channel, hello, my name is Yaje. And on this channel, I do share tips and tools on healthy living because I believe that we all deserve to be healthy. We all deserve to age well and live a very long and healthy life. And that's what I do here on this channel. Okay, so today's topic is just eat less. And I'll give you the backstory. Like I said, I'm excited for December because it is Christmas and all of that but it's also my birth month. Guess what? I'm going to be turning 43. And I say my age with so much pride because I believe that aging is not something we should be ashamed of. Many women are usually, you know, not too proud to say how old they are. I'm not of that school. I usually announce my age. I am turning 43 and I'm proud of that. I say that because there's a difference between chronological age which is the age that your birth certificate has if it's correct anyway and biological aging and most of the time many people age biologically more than their chronological age which is like accelerated aging and that is not good because it comes with a lot of disease and all of that stuff so if um when, when you don't eat too much it allows you to age biologically well when i say eat less i'm talking about eating less calories when i tell someone to eat less they usually kick and scream but the truth is if you are carrying excess weight no matter how much you, you say that, oh, I don't eat, you are eating something more than you're supposed to be eating. That is why you're carrying excess weight. So eating less is taking in less calories, taking in less junk, taking in more nutrients, eating more whole foods, right? It is also eating less frequently. There are people that graze throughout the day they just keep eating keep eating that is not good it is not good for your waistline it is not good for your health in general so when you're not eating frequently you can now just concentrate on eating few meals but making those meals count so in this case eating less is actually more it's a situation where less is more it's less of the bad stuff and more of the good stuff brings us to the tips that I am going to share and these are my tips the question that I want you to ask is how might you eat less okay I'll share my own tips but my situation does not always apply to your situation so use my tips as inspiration ask yourself how might you eat less for your particular situation and I'm going to be glancing at my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. So tip number one, when hunger is not the problem, food is not the solution. What I mean by that is only eat when you're hungry. And I'm not talking about, you know, the emotional, I'm bored, therefore I eat kind of hunger. I'm talking about when you feel true physiological hunger, like that hunger that you feel right from your stomach. If we only eat because if we only ate because uh, we were hungry, nobody would have issues with their weight. The, the thing is, we eat even when we are not hungry. We eat to prevent hunger, and that is not good. 
So try to eat only in response to true hunger. It will help you eat less. Tip number two is about not grazing throughout the day. See, we are not animals. Animals eat all the time. Well, we are animals, but we're a different kind of animal. We were not meant to eat every time, like just picking stuff and putting it in your mouth. You'll be amazed at how many times you eat for no reason. Like you eat mindlessly. You don't even know that you're putting food in your mouth. Just the other day, I asked some lady how many times a day she ate. She told me just twice that she eats at nine o'clock in the morning and she eats again at seven o'clock at night. I'm like, are you sure you eat nothing in between? She said, oh, she has kids and so she's always eating. I asked her again, how many times do you eat in a day? She said two. I said, everything <laughs> that you put in your mouth is food you are eating. I don't understand there's that disconnect between, you know, what counts as food, as a meal. If you put food in your mouth, that is, it counts. It all adds up. So. What, when I say um, do not graze throughout the day, I mean that when you eat, come to a stop and shut, zip it, zip, zip it until it's your next meal. Hopefully you're waiting three to four hours between meals. If you're licking food off, off of your kid's plate, um, when you're cooking, you're tasting, eating this and that and the other, thinking they don't count because you didn't sit down and put food on your plate, it counts as long as it goes in through your mouth it counts so do not graze throughout the day if you keep grazing throughout the day you will end up eating more food than you think you are eating so have meal one stop three or four hours later have meal number two stop three or four hours later have meal number three and stop try that and see how how that works all right, tip number three is this idea of meal planning. Meal planning just means that you think ahead, you prepare ahead, and then you prepare the food and portion them out when you are not yet hungry. That way, when it's time to eat, you just grab whatever that you prepare and eat. This works if you're not yet able to um, practice portion control. Okay, like at the time of eating, if you're not yet able to know that, okay, I just need this amount of rice or this amount of beans or this amount of avocado weighing and measure, you can do meal planning and meal prepping, all of that good stuff. It works. Tip number four is about tracking your food. This is one that many people fight me when I tell them to do that. You don't always have to do it like throughout the year all of the time. But if you're just beginning or if you find that, you know, you're starting to, you know, gain weight where you don't want to always come back to tracking and measuring your food. There are several apps that can help you do that. There's um, my fitness, my fitness pal. I think that's the name of the app. What I use is lose it, an app known as lose it. And there's many others or you can just write it down in the journal. But Learning how to track your food really brings mindfulness into your eating practice because you'll be surprised at, you know, how many calories there are in say one cup of rice or one cup of beans or whatever that you're eating. Okay. So if you take like, you know, one month out of the year and just diligently track what you eat, you'll find that it will help you with this idea of eating less because it brings mindfulness into that whole eating practice. And the last tip is this idea of using smaller cups or smaller plates or smaller bowls, whatever thing that you eat out of, just by reducing the size makes you feel like you're eating a lot of food. You see, here in America, in the US, we have like giant platters, giant cups, giant mugs. Where's that one that I had here? I had a giant mug here. Like <laughs> our cups here are like 20 ounces. So if you fill um, that cup with say soda, that's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of calories for no reason. So just by downsizing your cup or your bowl or your plate, it can help you eat less.
I want you to always think, how might I eat less? Your particular situation. You don't have to practice all of the tips I just shared. You can pick one or two and practice and see how that becomes a habit for you. It's not about being perfect. It's about making progress. But you have to wake up every day and think how you can eat less calories, eat less junk, eat less frequently so that you can eat more nutrients, you can eat more whole foods, and then you can actually make your meals count. It is important, especially as you age, as you start to cross that 40 year line, your body is not growing anymore. Your body is not building anything anymore. It's about protecting what is already there. It's about preserving what is already there and you don't need as much fuel to do that so if you continue eating a lot chances are you are going to pile on the pounds and with that comes a whole host of diseases that we don't want so as part of aging well as part of improving that health span that living long try not to eat too much junk too much calories so thank you so much for watching um, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and um, just take care of yourselves. It is important. Take care of yourselves. Continue to move your body, eat right and take care of that one and only you that there ever will be. Thank you so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.